Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, and then give them my own rating to help you decide whether they are worth buying or not. I buy all the products with my own money, and I'm not sponsored by anybody for unbiased reviews. Today I'm reviewing fitness apps, and in particular, smaller fitness apps that you guys might not be aware of. I know you guys probably know the Apple Fitness Plus, the Pelotons, those kind of big, huge apps that are out there and very well formulated. But today I'm doing it on Magnus Ligback, and he has something called the Magnus Method. He is a fitness trainer from Sweden. He trained people like Alexander Skarsgård for the movie Tarzan. He also trained another Swedish star, Alicia Vikander, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, for Laura Croft Tomb Raider, also Gal Gadot for Wonder Woman, and Ben Affleck for the Batman movie, and so on and so on. There's a few reasons why I decided to explore his app in particular, because I just randomly ran across some YouTube videos and I like the way the guy talked about fitness. He's very laid back, very humble. He obviously knows what he's talking about. And he has very simplistic ways of approaching exercises and diet. So that's why I'm reviewing him today. What I really liked about him too was the way he looked at nutrition. Instead of weighing your food, which I've really gotten into, which is fine, but now I'm getting sick of it. He kind of does the uh, whole approach of, hey, one fist of protein in the morning for breakfast a half fist of slow carbs, and he's kind of managed to work out a way of eating five times a day through just measuring with your hand, which makes it much easier. And you're not constantly pulling out the food scale and throwing things on to make sure you're eating enough. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a food scale. I did for uh, the last three months. It's really helped me in my diet because I've actually seen how much I eat and how much what I should be eating looks like and now I can recognize how big portions are. So I think it's a good way to start out and hopefully I'm gonna release the scale soon and just start going by this, you know, fist of protein, fist of carbs, fist of veggies, or two fists of veggies, whatever it is. But it should be interesting to see how things play out. I'll see if I lose or gain weight, we'll find out. After finding out about the Magnus Method, I looked through his website and it directed me to the Playbook app. Now the Playbook app is an app that has a lot of trainers, really well-known trainers, famous yoga trainers and other celebrity trainers. So the good thing is if you join the Magnus Method app, you can also have access to all these other trainers, which is kind of fun if you want to mix it up. What's great about Magnus's app is he took all the workout routines for the movies that he had the actors train for and put them on his app. So you've got a routine for Laura Croft Tomb Raider, you've got a routine for Tarzan, you've got a routine for Batman, you've got a routine for Wonder Woman, etc, etc. On top of that, he's got home workouts, which you don't even need any weight for, which is fantastic. Actually, I started with something called the At Home Sculpt, and then he's got advanced version of that, and then every month, supposedly, he's coming out with a new workout routine. So it's nice because it keeps it varied, and you won't get bored just working out with one thing over and over again. Also, a lot of his programs are four to six weeks, which is nice because if you're doing something like the Apple Fitness Plus, for example, it's just a whole bunch of fitness workouts, which are great, but not really with an end goal. So I just finished, like I said, the at home sculpt this week. And now I'm like, okay, done with that one. Now I'm gonna do the advanced at home sculpt and see how that turns out. Once you're on the Playbook app and you're checking out Magnus's workouts, there's a few different ways you can view it. You can view it, of course, on your iPhone or Android, which is great. If you're working out at home, you can just look at your phone the whole time, or if you're going to the gym, you can bring it with you to the gym so you can just follow your workout. You can watch it on your tablet, which makes the picture just a little bit bigger, which is nice. And another way that I did it for a little while is I mirrored it on my Apple TV, which is nice as well because it made the picture even bigger. If you are used to an app like Peloton or Apple Fitness Plus, you probably get more of a group feeling from those apps. And if you're a person who likes to work out in groups, likes to go to the gym and take classes with other people, spin classes, that kind of stuff, this workout may not be for you. Magnus's workouts are much more for the individual who likes to work out by himself. At least that's the feeling I get. And I actually like that because I focus better. I just turn on my music, any music I want. I turn on the app, look on my phone and just go and just grind right through it. Another thing with this app is when you first open it, you'll see you'll get like an introduction video from Magnus. He just kind of says, hi, and how's it going? Get ready to do my workout. And then the rest of the workouts, when you press on each 
setup for each exercise, there isn't any sound on it. There's just the visuals from him working out and then there's instructions written under it. The exercises are fun. They're things that I haven't done before. Some of them I have, but a lot of them I haven't. But the at-home workouts don't require any weights as I talked about before. So the best thing I can probably suggest is to get some sort of plyo box. A plyo box is great. If you buy one of these, it's like $100, $110, something like that, and then buy a workout mat and you can pretty much do everything there. It also requires some jugs of water as you'll see in this video right here. But if you have any sorts of weights lying around, you could substitute your weights for that or who knows, grab some coffee cans or something like that and use those. It's kind of like going back to old school Jack LaLanne style back in the 50s and 60s. In the end, I really enjoyed the exercises. They were exhilarating, exhausting. He kind of builds you up slowly through the four weeks. And by the last week, you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get through this? It's gonna be really, really tough. But that's what's so great about it. You just slowly through consistent working out, build little by little. And he does have his nutrition on the app. So he's got a shopping list. You can go through what are good proteins, what are good slow carbs, what are good veggies. He's got all that kind of stuff. He also has recipes on there, which is great. I've actually shown some of the recipes on my Instagram account. They're really good and really quick to make. Most of them take like, I don't know, 10 minutes to make. The snacks do at least, and they're delicious. So he really knows what he's talking about because he really loves food himself. So that's nice to have a trainer like that. So here's where I get into it. Even though I really like Magnus, I like his philosophy, I like his workouts, his nutrition, the simplified everything. There are some wonky bits, as I must say, on the app that I think need to be fixed. I kind of think it, it's half Playbook's fault and half Magnus's fault. So I'm hoping the app will just get better and better. Right now, it is not perfect. It would be great to have some sort of setup video that just walks you through the exercise with Magnus talking to camera so you know you're doing it properly and you don't get injured. That's my number one. A uh, number two, if you're looking at the video, they've got these lines at the top of the video which kind of say, okay, there's two exercises in this round. Magnus kind of goes by rounds. If there's three lines in there, you know there's three exercises per round. The weird part is you would think that if you press on one of the lines, like you do on Instagram, it would switch to the next exercise, but it doesn't. It doesn't have any relevance at all that I could see except saying there's two exercises here. Instead, you have to go to the down arrow and come out of that video and then pop back in the video underneath it. So that's a little bit frustrating. A part I liked about the app was that you checked off the exercises as you went. So you've got these little check marks as you go to the bottom and you scroll up, you check one, you say, good, I'm done with round one on that. Because I know, and I don't know if this happens to you, but when you get tired, your brain really plays tricks on you, at least mine does. So for example, I'll be on set number two and I think I'm on set number three. And I'll look at my little checkbox and I'll say, nope, that's set number two. So it's nice to have something double checking you so you don't go the easy route. Now here's a neat thing about it is you can actually set how long you want to rest between exercises. So if you're done with an exercise, you can click the rest button and then you can make it for 15 seconds or 30 seconds or 45 seconds. You'll notice as you get in better shape, you don't have to rest as long, but it's kind of nice. So it has this countdown and tells you when your rest is up, boom, and time to get going on the next exercise. And this is a big one for me because at the end of the workout, Magnus's little head pops up in a picture and says, great workout. What are you, any suggestions? So you text him a question and I just never heard back. So for four weeks, I was texting him my suggestions on the app and just never heard back. I just think he's got so many clients that he just can't read everything. And if that's the case, that's cool. Just don't put that option down there because it's a bit misleading or at least hire a couple of assistants who are nutritionists or trainers who can answer for you. Because it's a bit frustrating if you're gonna have that and says, hey, ask me questions and you just never answer them. So that's a little bit wonky for me. All right, after going through all that, let's look at the pros and cons of this app. He's a great and proven likable trainer, great exercises that definitely get you in shape, at-home workout programs that require little to no weights, can follow programs on your phone at home or take it to the gym for more gym-centric workouts, nutrition help and shopping list, recipes, and once you join the Playbook app, you have access to a lot of other trainers and their programs. 
Here are the cons. You need to purchase a sturdy chair or stool or plyometric box to work out with. The app needs improvements as some things are clunky. Some exercise directions were unclear. One thing I referenced in particular was the Bulgarian split squat. It just says, okay, do 15 sets. So I assumed it meant 15 sets of each leg, but I'm still not sure. So I either worked out too much or I did the right thing, but I don't know. Some exercise routines take longer than it says on the app. So in the morning, I'd look at the exercise routine and it said 45 minutes, but many times it took me 52 to 55 minutes to do these things. And I wasn't resting much between sets or between reps. I was resting at most 30 seconds. And this is me just kind of cranking too. So watch out for that. Seems that I was constantly interacting with my phone to get through the exercises. If I work out, I really don't want to look at my phone. I want to be like, phone out. I'm in my meditating state of working out. But that's one of the things about apps. They do come through your phone or your tablet. And like I said before, Magnus didn't answer to any in-app texts I reached out to him on. All right, now let's go to my personal rating system, which has three categories, all based on scale from one to 10. We've got price, performance, and staying power. First price, what is the price of this product? It's a dollar for the first month. After that, it's $14.99 a month, which is $5 a month more than the Apple Fitness Plus app and about $2 more than a Peloton digital membership. It's not super expensive because you do get the subscription to Playbook and the other trainers, but it's definitely more expensive than the bigger apps or more well-known apps. So for price, I'm gonna give it a seven. Now let's talk about performance. What did I think about the performance of this product? Great workouts and I enjoy them. I definitely feel like I improved my fitness, but I feel like the Playbook app needs improvement and there needs to be better explanation of each exercise. It definitely needs a bit of improvement. You have to work a lot of things out yourself, but for performance, because the exercises were so great, I'll give it a seven. Staying power is next. Will I use this product a lot or is it a one and done? This was a hard one. I really like Magnus and his simple approach to exercise and nutrition, so it resonates with me. I also didn't mind, although frustrating, having to figure some things out on my own. I also like the individualism of it as I'm more of a solo fitness person than a group fitness person. Even though I got a little frustrated with the app, I am gonna try another one of his workout routines. So for staying power, I'll give it a seven. So here's the final tally. Price, seven. Performance, seven. Staying power, seven. That equals out to a total average score of seven. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe if you want to. And if you wanna know about when all my videos are coming out, hit the notification bell. All my videos come out on Tuesdays, by the way. You can always hit me up at Kurt FitFi on Instagram, where I post at least twice a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.